past few tutorials, we've seen what a nice convenient class the JDBC template is. So uh, in this tutorial, we're going to cover some of the other methods of the JDBC template. So if you look at the methods that we already implemented, they're all fetch methods. So you're getting data from the database. So in this tutorial, we're going to look at some methods which allow us to write data to the database, be it insert, updates, or uh, delete. Before we start, I'll just like to clean up some uh, code in this method, you know, in this uh, class. So if you notice here, first of all, we have a new JDBC template, which we have added over here, which is actually useless because we have implemented a new in the data source setter. So I'll go ahead and remove this. We don't need this. Okay, so the getters and setters are fine. And uh, here we have a method that we implemented using JDBC without the JDBC template. So I'm going to just comment this out. And of course, collapse this. Okay, so now we are all set. So now here we have four methods. One is to get the circle count. One is to get the circle name given an ID. One is to get the circle object itself given an ID and one is to get all the circles in the table. And we also have a circle mapper. So this is as simple as it gets for a JDBC DAO. Now we'll implement a method that inserts records. So let's say I want to insert a circle object into the database. So how would I do that? Now I would write a method here, public. I can return a uh, true or false depending on whether the insert went successfully or not. For this example, I'll just do a void. Insert circle. And uh, I'll take a parameter circle, which has to be inserted. Now, as with all the other methods, I'll write a string SQL. And this will have the insert query. Okay, so this is our simple insert query, which is parameterized. Now I need to pass this SQL query to a JDBC template method. Now the question is, which method should I use? The, the method that I use is JDBC template dot update. Now the JDBC template dot update has again, as with a lot of other methods in the JDBC template, you have multiple signatures. I'm going to use this one, the one which takes in a string, SQL, and object array. So you notice here you have two signatures over here to pass in the arguments. One is as var args, and one is as an object array. So this is something that was newly introduced in Spring 3.2, so that you can have multiple arguments as array because of the var arg support in Java. But this is the uh, you know one where you have a constant number of arguments the middle argument, the second argument is an object array where you can pass any number of uh, arguments. So I'll use this one for now. So the first parameter is a SQL. The second parameter will be a new object array. And the elements of the array have to be the properties of the circle object that I'm taking over here. So I will add circle dot get ID and circle dot get name. And that's it. So I'm inserting a record into the table. So I'm using the JDBC templates update method. I'm passing in the query itself and I'm using an object array to pass in the uh, the actual values which will get substituted for the placeholders in the query. So the values happens to be the properties of the, of the object that I'm receiving as the argument to the method. Okay, so now let's save this 
And of course, since I'm using a void, I don't have to insert anything, but I can use some kind of a check to make sure that this has gone through successfully, probably have a catch block where I return a false. But for now, this will do. Now let me call that method over here. So I'll use the DAO dot insert circle. I will use a new circle. Notice that we have a circle constructor that takes in the values of all the member variables. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to pass two and let's say second circle. Okay. And I'm going to leave this as it is, which prints out the size. Now let's save and run this. And there you see, you have a count of two now because it's inserted the second circle. So when you do a get all circles, it's going to return me a list with, and it's printing the size, which is now two. And now let's just to test it one more time. I'll pass in three and third circle to make sure that the count goes to three now. Yep, yeah, it does. So the insert is working fine. Now we've used the update method for an insert query. So this update method works for even update queries as well as delete queries. In fact, you can even use the update method to run stored procedures. So you can have a SQL that says call and the stored procedure name, and you can use the update method to run that stored procedure also. So now before we wind up this tutorial, there is one other method of the JDBC template that I would like to discuss, and that is the execute method. The execute method is kind of a generic method where you can pass in some SQL statement to be executed. And this is actually a good fit for running SQL statements like a create table, for example. You would normally not uh, have create table statements or any such uh, data definition language statements or DDL statements as it's called inside your code, but you could you would probably have some kind of a module to create all these tables that's required for your application up front. And in that module might have classes that run these DDL statements. So all the statements that you see over here are DML statements. So you are manipulating the data. But if you are writing statements that actually construct the tables and the data structure in your database, then uh, execute is a good fit for running those queries. So I'll just show a simple example of that. And I'll have a public void. And uh, I'm going to write a method here that creates a triangle table. So I'll say create triangle table. And again, as I said, these kind of methods are rare. Uh, you would normally have data manipulation language uh, SQL queries running in your code and these would just be some kind of an initialization code which would just get everything set up and running. So let's say I have a string that creates a table. Okay, simple table creation query. Now I can use the JDBC template dot execute. So this is the query that I can, this is the method I can use to run this query. So this is gonna create the table for me. So let's test this out. I'm gonna comment these two out. And I will call DAO dot creating triangle table. Save and run this. Okay, obviously we'll not have any output over here, but let's try checking if the table has been created. So I have one terminal window here, which has the database running. And now I'll open another terminal window in which I'll connect using IJ. Now I'll paste the connection string 
within quotes here and end it with a semicolon. Now I'm connected to the database. So now I can do a select star from triangle and it should return me yes. So a triangle has been created, a triangle table has been created with the definition that we have specified. So this is how you can actually create uh, new tables and uh, write some DML statements, sorry, DDL statements in your code and you can use the execute method of the JDBC template to run them. So these are some of the common JDBC template methods that uh, you would normally use. There are a lot of methods available actually and uh, you know there are uh, many that might be handy in certain situations. I haven't covered all of them. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's actually a good idea to go through the Java docs and pick something that is ideal for the job that you have on hand.